and others, you know, it'll just be the touch and you'll see them, you know, really happy just, just with that touch and being able to sit with them. It's been a neat thing to do and it was great to do that with my own grandmother as well. They're so trusting and they're so non-judgmental. And that's the one thing I miss about when I come here is, um, I, I mean, I've got my co four cockatiels with me, but is I miss my other animals that uh, I left behind. <laughs> I didn't even realise this was on. <laughs> We've been to Kids First Hospital, um, all sorts of special needs programs. I'd imagine some of the older people grew up on farms. Yeah, they did and it's neat. We've been at one um, village where a man, we took the rabbit inside and he just got so excited and he just wanted to show us his trick where he, he had been a magician years ago and he used to pull a rabbit out of the hat and he was, he was so excited about that. And um, we had one, he tried to jump up on top of our donkey once because he remembered riding a donkey when he was younger and it was, it, it's just, yeah, it was neat to see. It's amazing. And this white one. a little pony. <laughs> yeah, so take some food and bring it over here. Look, he knows what to do with it. <laughs> oh, Would you like to feed him? <laughs> Goats. We used to breed them um, when we were on the farm. They were very destructive. And every time I went to work, out with the car, 